Are you ready for... Reaction time. What's up, fam? You know what time it is. Your boy, Joshua McGee Reactions. Hey, hit the like up button, like up, subscribe. Share with your friends and friends, guys. Let's roll it up to 1K. Let's go. Um, Y'all know I like pitch meetings. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi pitch meeting. Pitch meeting, go check out the channel, man. Dope content over there. Funny, entertaining. Keeps you laughing. Let's get into it, baby, right here. Let's go. So, you have some Star Wars milk for me? What, like the blue milk? No, like another way to milk the franchise we bought for billions of dollars. Oh, right. Yes, sir, I do. Amazing. So what did you have in mind? I was thinking we'd do an Obi-Wan Kenobi show for Disney+. Plus. Oh, that's a very recognizable name. It sure is, sir. So this would take place ten years after Revenge of the Sith, and Obi-Wan is living on Tatooine and looking at a little boy through some binoculars. Oh, uh, <laughs> watching people through binoculars is tight. Generally not, no, sir. Uh. But this is a 10-year-old Luke Skywalker. He's from the Star Wars Holiday Special. Amongst other things, yeah. So Obi-Wan is keeping an eye on him, you know, in case anything happens. Oh, right. And you know, in the past 10 years, Obi-Wan hasn't been doing any training or force stuff, so he's pretty weak now. But so how is he intending to protect Luke if anything happened? Oh, unclear. But so then on Alderaan, a 10-year-old Princess Leia gets kidnapped. Oh, she's from Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Yeah, other things too, though. And she almost gets away, because these bad guys is are like clumsily one? whacking their faces on tree branches and stuff falling over. Oh wait, is this a cartoon? Beginning? Occasionally it oh. is, sir. Yeah. Well, okay then. So then her adoptive father, Bail Organa, goes to see Obi-Wan like, what's up, dude? You gotta save her. Isn't he a pretty powerful dude? Wouldn't he have a bunch of aides and guards and security people and stuff? Yeah, but Obi-Wan's the protagonist, so he asks for his help. Right. And it turns out this Inquisitor Reva planned the whole thing because she wants to get Obi-Wan. What do you mean? Well, see, she found a connection between the two of them in the archives. So she's like, oh, if I take Bail Organa's daughter, he's definitely gonna go to this guy he hasn't spoken to in like a decade for help. Oh, a very big leap. And why does she want Obi-Wan? Because she wants to impress Anakin Skywalker. He's from the Mandalorian. Nope. Oh, I got that one wrong. Yeah, no, he's from practically everything else, and he's Darth Vader now. And if she brings him Obi-Wan, he might make her Grand Inquisitor. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. So Reva actually ends up stabbing the current Grand Inquisitor because he wanted to take credit for capturing Obi-Wan, who then escapes with Leia. Reva has force powers. She does, and we're going to find out later that she was actually a Jedi youngling who survived Order 66 when Anakin tried to kill her. And so she works for him now? Yeah, she became a ruthless hunter who kills Jedis because she wants to get back at the guy who uh, killed Jedis. I guess that makes sense. And eventually Obi-Wan and Leia get stopped by these no. stormtroopers who have this face scanner thing, and after it's scanned his face, he shoots them all. If he was gonna shoot all of them, why wait until his face was scanned into their system? I don't know. And so now he's gotta <laughs> escape, but there's a freaking laser fence. Oh, those are hard to get around. They are, except for this one, which is very easy to walk around. Oh, well, good. Yeah, so they panic for a second trying to get through, but then Obi-Wan realizes he can shoot the control panel and get through. Why didn't he just walk around? Well, this is much more exciting, right. sir. I guess so. Anyway, then they're immediately about to be captured again, but this lady Tala saves them. Oh, she does? Yeah, she works for the Empire, but doesn't like it, so she decides to help them escape through this secret tunnel she has going. Okay, but then frickin' Darth Vader shows up, so Obi-Wan decides to stall for time so Leia and Tala can escape. But Obi-Wan doesn't really have force powers anymore. Exactly, so Darth Vader just kicks his butt and starts a fire and drags him through it. Oh no, it's gonna be hard to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, once Darth Vader puts the fire out, Tala's gonna show up and help Obi-Wan escape by starting a fire. How does that help? Well, Darth Vader can't get to Obi-Wan through fire, sir. But he was literally just doing that. Yeah, so then Obi-Wan escapes. All right. And so since Leia is on her own, she actually gets kidnapped by Reva, who somehow teleported to the end of this tunnel. She gets kidnapped again. We're doing that again. Yeah, second time in three episodes. Turns out she's very bad at not getting kidnapped. Sure seems that way. So how does she get unkidnapped this time? Well, Obi-Wan Kenobi sneaks her out in this big old trench coat he's wearing, and she's hiding underneath it. Just 
just a guy in a massive jacket with four legs, two of which are tiny, and that works? Yes. Oh, is this a cartoon again? It's a cartoon again. I told you that <laughs> would happen from time to time. Right, you did tell me that. So Darth Vader's angry at Reva for letting them escape, but she's like, Sir, whoa, I put a tracker on Leia's toy, so that's pretty cool, right? On the princess of Alderaan's toy? That's right. Seems like they'll probably end up on Alderaan. Yeah, that's definitely the final destination, but now they'll be able to track that. Interesting plan. So eventually, she manages to get all the good guys trapped behind these big blast doors, and she's having a bunch of stormtroopers try to blast them open. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. But then Obi-Wan stalls a little by saying he wants to talk to her, and he figures out the thing about her surviving Order 66, and then she opens the door with a lightsaber. Seems like she should have led with that. Maybe. And so then they decide to team up to try to take Vader down. How do they do that? Well, she just goes ahead and tries to stab him. After 10 years of planning, she just goes in for a stab? Yes. Does it work? No, obviously no, that doesn't work. Right, that makes sense, yeah. So she gets stabbed with a lightsaber. So she dies? Now having a big hole burned into your intestines isn't fatal. In fact, that Grand Inquisitor guy, he's alive too. He was too angry to die. <laughs> oh. It okay, so then there's gonna stomachs. be a big fight between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. But Obi-Wan still doesn't have Force powers. Oh, well, those come back. Oh, they do. What happens? He thinks about stuff and they come back. Well, great. So Vader gets the high ground and buries Obi-Wan under some rocks and then walks away and leaves him for mm -hmm. dead. Okay, does nobody take a second to verify that the person they've tried to kill is actually dead? Not in this particular nope. show, no. Oh, okay. And then Obi-Wan escapes and slices Vader's helmet open and they have a little chat. About what? Well, Vader's like, hey, I'm the one who killed Anakin Skywalker okay and he's kind of crazy happy about it wow so then obi-wan is like wow well okay then i guess my friend truly is dead and he walks away wait why doesn't he kill him if he truly thinks his friend is dead and this is a crazy murderous monster guy well vader's got to be in several movies after this so it's kind of like oh it's a contract issue he's got to be in those movies right and meanwhile reva has figured out who luke skywalker is how does she figure that out well it turns out bail organa sent obi-wan a message being like hey i know we said no communications but here's a detailed communication because I think maybe something happened to you. That's, why send that if you think something happened? Unclear. So then Reva goes to kill Luke and he passes out. Why? So that he doesn't see a lightsaber and mess up the cannon. That makes sense. Good call. But then Reva can't bring herself to kill this child, so that's a nice little redemption arc. She's killed a bunch of Jedi for like a decade though, right? Yeah, but not the one that's the most important to the IP. That does sound like a good guy move to me. And then Obi-Wan gets to meet Luke and he says, hello there. Oh, that's the thing the internet likes. It sure is, sir. So what do you think? Well, I think it sounds great, but I do think we should maybe slow things down after this. You know, I don't want people to get Star Wars fatigue. Oh, really? Yeah, I just think that's the best move creatively. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're going to keep churning these out till they stop making money. Uh, you got me, sir. That ain't going to happen. Hey, like I said, I'll go check out Pitch Me, man. Dope content over there, man. Definitely like sitting back and just being able to enjoy five to seven minutes of his content and laugh and and sit here and make faces and have fun and um hope you guys enjoy the reaction guys hope you enjoy the content appreciate all the support guys on our road to 600 subscribers on our road to 1k baby first goal was 1k it ain't our major goal but it's our first major goal it ain't the main one but that's our first stepping stone we on our way like i said share with anybody you know that you think of like the content like, I'm just driving. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.